We begin tonight with that 22 year old driver who is already home from the hospital after sitting inside her car as it got crushed. It happened this morning when a piece of construction equipment called the boom truck tipped over. It happened in the Bronx on Bedford Park Boulevard, and that is where CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live right now with the very latest. Alice. That car and arm like structure that came crashing down still here some six hours after this happened. But look, a very large crane just arrived a short time ago. They're currently working to remove that piece of equipment. You could see it hoisted up in the air there. Now, the driver of that silver car, as you mentioned, somehow suffered only minor injuries. Had she been a few inches forward, though, may have been a different outcome. Security video from stores in the area showed the moment what's called an articulating boom truck lifting arm fell onto a car as it was stopped at the light around 10:30 this morning. A man walking by nearly misses getting hit. Witnesses rushed over to the car and pulled the female driver out. That 22-year-old only suffering minor injuries. Boom! Yeah, they found it. Boom! Uh, an explosion, explosion-like uh, noise, like a bang, and. Um, I think the first thing that came to my mind was a, a D-train um, collision or something or a bomb. Ali Algahim works in the store at the corner and ran out with others to see what happened. I expected to see somebody dead or something or crushed. And like a few seconds later, he pulls her out. The man who pulled her out did not want to speak on camera, but Algahim describes her condition. She was a little bit, you know, confused herself, surprised that she made it, you know, but I'm still shaking. <laughs> Construction at 33 Bedford Park Boulevard, an 11 story new residential building, was halted. About 29 workers evacuated as a precaution. The Department of Building says a preliminary investigation found that as the crane like device on the boom truck was lifting a load of metal bars from a trailer onto the roof, the arm of the boom failed and collapsed. It also took out a traffic light and spilled metal onto the road. Looking at the scene, many say it appears the arm just snapped. People noting, had the car been inched up any further, she may not have been able to walk away. The way the boom crossed the car just missed her, and uh, she, she's going to be fine. I think they said about six inches, right? Yeah, six, well, she was right there. I know she's okay. Thank God. Now, the Department of Building says they conducted an inspection of the building project and found several safety violations. Summonses were issued for failure to safeguard the construction site, failure to obtain electrical permits, and a construction elevator violation. Now, there's a partial stop work order preventing material deliveries and all work being done above 75 feet. Additional actions are pending. Now, all State 12 General Contracting Corporation, the construction company for that building, had no comment. The road over here is still closed along Bedford Park Boulevard between Jerome and Valentine. And once again, what you're looking at here is a very large crane that's been brought in to remove that piece of equipment that fell across that car. We are live in the Bedford Park section of the Bronx. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thanks so much.